One. Paji. Deflection headed away by Papach. Figo. Seen too much of a, a press here from Rangers. Disappointing. <laughs> Tough school. <laughs> it's not going to be a. It's not going to be a club a Pep Guardiola session. Let me tell you. Kaka with a lovely ball. Quaresma has Abidal galloping past him. Be pushed away by Vatarus. Tell you what, for someone who's had health scares as well, Abidal is absolutely flying down that side, isn't he? There's not a pick on him. I mean, he looks as fit as he played. And just as leggy as well, which is not a great sign for a shot of Avaladzi out on that side, let me tell you. I have to pick his moments. Ball going out here off Carlos Marchena, the former Spain international. World Cup winner in 2010. Roberts with the throw and and Bronkhorst who's popping up all over the place so far Gio's still looking well Hutter Just happy here with um, Bronkhorst Vidal's there first Nothing too many going to catch him today and here's Quaresma Mackay and Figo making up ground in the middle. Figo. Salgado. Oh, the touch was delicate. It's quite taken down. Come on, Georgie. Ah. Really out too long for him now. It's Gregory Vignal who is stepping across there for Rangers. Nice wee tackle. Had to make it. Sasa Papa's just mopping up. Yeah, there'll be lots of low blocks here. I don't think anybody will be breaking rank and trying to press on their own. Kaka. Figo. Man who once commanded a world record transfer. Around £60 million pounds as he went through that very, very controversial move from Barcelona yeah. to Real Madrid. Iconic moment, that, when he was out taking the corner. and uh, It was a pig step. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. De Boer. One of the best footballers I've ever shared the pitch with, Ronald De Boer. Yeah, man who turned out Manchester United to join back at the turn of the millennium. What? Treble winner in 2003. Boyd offside. He knew the flag was coming. Out. Trademark run. Just a little dip of the shoulder, opens up and then, of course, trademark finish. Ian's Lehman will say that uh, he didn't try for that one, but that was a decent finish <laughs> for Boyd. Eh? The corner. Honestly, we didn't catch it there with that angle, but his little, his little dip and movement was brilliant. Figo, Koresma, there's a Abidal. Abidal. <laughs> Honestly, it looks as if he's on a Ducati there. Oh, he's trying to reverse it there for Abidal. <laughs> Just wonder whether on that left side they're going to have to tone it down a bit. Now, boy, onside this time now. The officials copping a bit of flag. Yeah. I hear Boydie banging on about VAR every other week. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure uh, he would have been saying the same thing there. Check the VAR. I'm sure it was onside. You'll get one of them right though. Quaresma. Figo. Portuguese combine. Vidal. Towards Figo, Makaleli leaves it for his skipper. Quaresma, Salgado. Fair to say, the world legends have seen more of the ball so far. Quaresma has a free chance to cross. Oh, that's a great ball. She does. Andrews away. Kaka won't hammer this. But too high from the Brazilian. Yeah, brilliant ball in from the right there. Marvin Andrews doing what he does best just making sure he's in a good position back header away falls to Kaka edge of the box and he like Roy Mackay just tries to reverse it into that top corner going for placement rather than power Alberts 
was off oh, the Boyd on the volley. And Naiman down sharply. Good effort. You know, when it was dropping, he was watching it all the way. I thought he was just going to lift it over him. He scored quite a special goal, uh, Partick Thistle, in his career. But you can see there, it's on target. He's smashing it low, trying to put it back across Jens Lehmann. Tell you what, if he does score in this game, no one's ever going to hear the end of it. No. I think he might be updating his own Wikipedia page. The flag up for offside here against Figo. <laughs> Look overly impressed. No. Third most Portuguese caps ever. He has won. Behind João Moutinho and Cristiano Ronaldo. Slip from Kaka. Tim Marchena. Go on then, hit it. Go on then, that left foot. Go on oh, then. he's thinking about it. Yeah, and he's, uh, I tell you, and he's pumped. He would have, he would have taken that one. Lacking confidence. <laughs> Mackay. Quaresma. Ricardo Quaresma, Makalele deflects it and off the other post. Kaka back in, there is no offside flag and it will be a corner. Yeah, again, Rangers being blessed with a little bit of luck to say the least. Kaka just giving a round of applause to the Rangers fans there. Comes back to him, he takes a lovely touch, just opens the body up, steps away for Giovanni Van Bronckhorst. Actually takes a lucky deflection, doesn't it? Sure, a visit off of Vigno, maybe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> challenge by Van Broncos on to Salgado. Oh, a little Real Madrid Barcelona spice in that one, maybe. Salgado, though, not rolling around. He's back up. Yeah, Gio was never uh, shy of a tackle. It was a good challenge, wasn't it? Yeah, it was fair. Uh, absolutely. Low to the ground, absolutely fair. Nothing in that disgraceful decision. Charity celebration games are not these referees. A bit of a killjoy. Now, Haji or Figo? Figo might fancy this. No, it's Haji instead. Oh, and just over it was fingertips from Vatteris. <laughs> what a good stop. I, I tell you, that's in the top corner. That is right in the I thought it was going over, but I'm sure that's going in the top corner. Now, it picks a small side. I, I was going under the bar, you know, what a stop that is. Ronald Vatteris was giving him the other side. Hadji's going for the small side and we're right in the post this time. So call it, which Figo will, well I was about to say centre, it's back to Quaresma. He'll hit this you know, a Trivella, well that's his trademark. Waiting to see when the first one of those is going to be. There won't be many players trying that today, let me tell you. He absolutely loves that. Yeah, he's still fit looking it and clearly still pretty mobile, didn't quite get it right, you can see what he's trying to attempt, chops been it inside Big Boydie there, I was, I was going to say says Boydie for a pie, you know that's an old saying but he's had that said to him in his time, lovely little effort though. Vigna, Boyd making crowd in the middle, it's out there, and Broncos. Seven now, Alan Hutton, eight years he had at Rangers until 2008. Title winner under Alec McLeish. Figo. We'll still wait the opening goal. Mackay leaving it. Vignal there to mop up. on this occasion to deny shot at Avaladze who <laughs> stretches out his arms he's not happy that ball wasn't a feed <laughs> he's not happy they're making him look bad here yeah no, I think he has drawn the short straw playing on that right side no no here at Ibrox Roberts Oh, Boyd. Boyd's in there again, he's just looking at a little bended run, you know. 
Broncos trying to find him. It's in towards Boy. Back header. Really went in for an own goal. It's a corner to Rangers. Yeah, you can just see Chris Boy just playing on the shoulder there. He wanted it played on the ground. Then that, that, that disappeared. Then it was just pulling away. Again, finding himself between the sticks. Giovanni almost found him there. So Rangers corner. Ferguson MBE Ferguson hung up there and Chris Boyd was waiting for it to drop but Lehman got there first he's not messing around for Figo is the out ball Alan Hutton holding him off lovely touch as Ferguson just had to readjust there Vinya was the male Vinya skipped up low. Never lose it. Yeah. Sure bought already, Giovanni Van Bronckhorst. There it is. Slow to the boat. Van Bronckhorst. Raise the oh, roof, views the score oh, here, Boyd. Oh, oh well. And for selfish there, he could have spun and shot himself. Yeah, information on the pass there, I would say. If Giovanni just tells me he can turn. It's unlike Boyd, he not have a little look across his shoulder. Figo. Mackay. I found out this week Roy Mackay's real name is Rudolphus. Really? Shortened to Roy. Hmm. I may have done that. Incredible what you find out about these players once they've finished playing. And ball. And a free kick here to the world legends who are being coached today by Paolo Fonseca. We were set to have Roberto Carlos here who uh, played for a Sunday league side down in England a couple of weeks ago and managed to get himself injured. Well, I did see a picture of him in the pub with Chris Kamara afterwards. Not sure if there's <laughs> any connection there. Figo in. Part of a sweeping, easy play. <laughs> well, I'd say, trying to get to that one, but in the end it was a, a bit too much on that one there from the Dutchman. Figo. Topping off his tan on that side. There for Kaka. Almost 20 minutes gone, and we'll start to get to that point in the game where people start to tire. There'll be plenty of subs willing to take their place, though. I'm not sure willing would be the right word to use <laughs> there just yet because there's a lot of time to go in this match. But there'll be boys desperate to get onto the pitch at some point, yeah. And certainly for Rangers, the sub goalkeeper Neil Alexander, Craig Moore. On the bench, Pedro Mendes, Alex Ray, Gaza, Michael Moles, Rod Wallace, and Nikita Jelovic as well. Wow, some, some names there. Wow, what a good read. We I mean, were expecting to have Nacho Novo in the starting 11 today, but Rothbard's taken his place. That must have been the slowest advantage rule I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. Craig Aiken, the referee today, but he can't believe his luck. He was fourth official at St Mirren Dundee United last week. Taking charge of some of the greatest players ever to play the game. Vignal, where's that going? Yeah, I think Lemons has touched that, you know. Yeah, he had to. Not his finest cross. Just got no bend on it. Jens Lehmann's had to deal with it. I think it might have just snuck under the bar, you know. No chance is taken. Broncos to take this. Can he pick out the Rangers player? Boyd back in. Chris Boyd trying to bundle his way through. No gap for him to squeeze past in the end. He's a bit out of way, look at that. Fergie's still fit though. He probably could have reached that one himself there, Abidal. Kaka instead. Figo. Roberts there with him. Luis Figo. Quaresma. Given he's still a 
first team pro in Portugal. Just wonder whether he's had to turn it down a bit here because otherwise it could be it could be too easy for him. Haji. Kaka. Can he find a gap? They've hit both posts so far. The world legends. Quaresma goes for that trip pillar again. It's magic on the outside of his right boot. Avalante. by Vignel to Salgado Figo Mackay oh. taking on Quaresma Martinus behind it yeah it was right at the goalkeeper but a good strike touch with the right strike with the left I think Marvin Andrews had made a really good block interception there from a slip pass it might have created a lot more danger there's a corner here to Paolo Fonseca's world legends. And the bright sunshine into Haji. Something special taken away by De Boer. Yeah, good vision, Boyd. De Boer's there. Avalante. Boyd galloping through the middle. Ah, short up. They did get the throw in here, Rangers. It could have been more. <laughs> you never know whether it's genuine or not when they're gesturing at each other. Ah, oh, I've been in the end of that uh, expression many times from Shorter. Boyd, Avaladze, Van Bronckhorst in the middle. Just taken away from the head of Chris Boyd. Vignal. Lehman, not the smallest, is he? Always going to be tricky. Ah, Boyd, he's not happy. Shota actually took the wrong decision there. Kaka. Salgado. I don't think he's ever changed his hairstyle. No. Instantly recognisable. Well, oh, he's got the choice, of course. <laughs> Not many have the choice. No, true. <laughs> Quaresma. He's had a couple of attempts so far. Salgado. Just given away there by the four time La Liga winner. Two Champions League titles to his name as well. Actually finished his play for in Panama. His point. Singer on his back. Here. Shota actually had a look there and still played it. Given away by the Georgian. No, if I was cynical, he is on the other side, uh, named as a substitute. So, <laughs> what was Shota in that half time there? What he was doing? Where his loyalty is yeah, exactly. Figo. That's pushing it for the Rangers boss. Right, come on then, Georgie, open the legs up. The hammer is on the way. Yeah. Oh. Oh, Singwa just able to nip in ahead of Boyd. Level up, step inside. Outside of the left foot pass as well. He could have probably taken another couple of yards. <laughs> I think Kaka there was hoping for a bit more movement ahead of him. Didn't really have any willing runners. Figo. Luis Figo. Makelele in nosebleed territory again. Oh. Claude Makelele, Mackay taken away from him by Andrews. Big Marv, yeah. I tell you, it's, a, it's a, just a heavy touch. Roy as he came back into that right side. Makelele with some nice feet. Right, come on, Fergie, you're one of the fittest players here. And he's got space to run into here as well, Barry Ferguson. De Boer. Well, De Boer. Taking it too seriously here by saying the final ball's letting them down. <laughs> no, you're not. Okay. No, you're not. I tell you, you, we're laughing, but every time one of these players misplace a pass, it'll hurt them because the, the, you don't get to the level that they did. Haji! Without having standards. 
Oh, just so much for Romanian football these days. He's part owner in a club, Farul Constanta. I was talking to Yanis about it. He was telling me all about it. it, it kids come up right through the whole system. And he is to uh, to applaud and uh, give credit to for Yanis being so two-footed, he told me. He was naturally left-footed. Um, but his father had told him to kick with the other side, do everything with his right side that he would do with the left, and that's why he's so comfortable on either side. Yeah. Farrell Constant, who play lots of 19 and 20 year olds in Romania, yeah. give them opportunities. A team that, when it's translated in English, means lighthouse, apparently, so I'm told. But uh, yeah, they're fifth in the league, 17 points off the top, but he's the general manager and coach of the team as well. Figo halted. Not sure. had any injuries just yet. I, don't think, I think Big Marv just stood on him there as he made the tackle. <laughs> the skipper is down. No treatment needed. Tell me how a man that loves Jamaica so much is wearing an Under Armour top out there under that today. Must be more than 20 degrees. A bit fun. Right of the year in his first season at Ibrox. SPL and League Cup winner. Jordan Livingston all the way back in 2004. Oh, just stood in his ankle with it on the way down. So one. What an absolute warrior that man is. Big man. Haji. Quaresma. Past Hutton. All the way past Vignal. I'm a little surprised we haven't seen a goal so far, but probably once we see one, we'll see a few go in. I can imagine there'd be wholesale changes at the break, if not before. Haji. Bronkost. A death touch. Shayna getting there all the world legends so he still looks in good nick doesn't he still moves well Shayna Quaresma Haji Makai shot a couple of those he was a great goal scorer wasn't he Roy Makai I remember yeah, watching Spanish football on Sky in the early noughties and played with Deportivo La Coruña when they were a real big force out there Thirty goals in three consecutive seasons. De Boer. And Bronkost. Oh, that was there. We haven't seen him for a bit. Here he goes. What a take that is. I think Alan Hudson. Lucky that he checked there. Quaresma. Right, we're in, we're in border here. Marvin Andrews has a big task ahead of him. Quaresma. Challenge well. Papich was on the cover, but like Marv just did enough. We're soaking up the pressure here. <laughs> so I was about to say, hitting them on the break. Yeah. But oh, well, they might have a chance here. Layman's come a long, long way. De Boer. Oh, oh, Jens Lehmann, oh, stop oh, it. Filth oh. from Jens Lehmann. He wouldn't have risked that in his Arsenal days. No, he wouldn't have. Even though he was playing with some players alongside who were more than capable of that kind of thing. Alec McLeish enjoying what he's seeing so far. But his side under pressure here, Figo. He's back on his feet and looks okay. Quaresh was gone for it again. He's relentless. Is that outside the boot one right enough? Has been out injured, he wasn't involved for his club last week when they took on Sporting. He's uh, a bit part player now, out in Portugal. Still playing in the top flight. De Boer. Alberts. China giving him more than a nudge. Pinching the ball. 
like George. He's going to need a taxi to get back. I think the one thing it does show, you know, none of these players look really out of shape, but I think it does show how fit they are when they were at their peak. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you're right, there's not too many out there that's let themselves go too drastically. Makalele. Right, come on in, Alan. Show me your trademark run. The Scottish Cafu. Releasing yeah. it here. I think he's conserving energy. We're seeing him play for Aston Villa and running the length of the field against big rivals Birmingham City and scoring a legendary goal down there. Oh, he could he's, run. No, no, he could he's run. met his match with Abidal against him on that side today. Ferguson. Avalante. Oh, oh it nearly yeah. ran for Chris yeah. Boyd. Yeah. forward here the world legends Quaresma this time running to Papac the game just starting to switch Switched. around a bit and uh, Prajag Mijatovic is going to come on here Roy McKay coming off is it yeah. it looks like Roy's done for now nice we run out half an hour very good <laughs> Prajag Mijatovic comes on 73 times he played for Yugoslavia. A player for Valencia and Real Madrid in the 90s. Scored in the Champions League final as well for Real and secured their first trophy for 32 years. They have got a YouTube sensation on their bench today as well, the world legends, Theo Baker. Really has 973,000 subscribers on YouTube. Quaresh Marin. Touch towards goal, but doesn't get the power there. Mijatovic. I did see his name on the team sheet and wonder whether I was severely out of touch with football or just <laughs> missed a legendary player go yeah. by in the night. But after a, a little bit of Googling, it emerged what his power was, Makalele. Oh, good tackle. Sasa Papic, brilliant tackle. Salgado's onto it though. Quaresma. Just feel there's something coming here, don't you? Oh, oh. well, through the legs there. Uh, Ron the ball, but he went no further. Yeah, it doesn't count. If you don't get it, it doesn't count. Oh, that's what Ronnie will be saying anyway. De Boer quickly into Alberts. I'm watching Boydie's movement here. He's oh, peel off. Could have played him in, he is played in now. <laughs> he was waiting for an opportunity like that and the crowd frustrated. I'm telling you, he's a uh, Chris Boy's movement. Any young kids watching this on Rangers TV you should be watching. He's always dipping onto the back end of a of a player playing on his shoulder so he can't see him and that, that allows him to then make his run back across him. Big Georgie was just apologising to the fans there at what they would pull the trigger. Ooh, bit of a Cut here on the leg of Vignal, is it? Yeah. Well, Flora Maluda coming on here for Georgi Hadji. <laughs> Flora Maluda, of course, a flying winger. He's only 41. Champions League winner with Chelsea. Numerous league titles with Lyon as well. She finished his playing career in Luxembourg four years ago. It's amazing where some of these players end up after the glittering careers they've had. Mijatovic trying. Figo. Oh, Luis Figo, that's brilliant. Vatoros in the way again. He's been good, hasn't he, Ronald, in the goals? Pretty solid, I have to say. Most things have been hit at him and when they've not been hit at him. And saved by the woodwork. Craig Moore is on here for Rangers. He's on to defend the corner. He goes corner. Constantly puts that one in there. Kaka.
after having a bit of a laugh and a joke with the ball boy. There's a bit of claret on the pitch here, Sasa Papic is... I'm not sure who it is. Miatovic, I think he's coming off to dry up my bloody nose. What is, mate? He goes for it again. Well, they're peppering the goal here, aren't they, the world legends? But yeah, being able to beat the goalkeeper. No. Yeah, a bit of treatment needed here for Miatovic. He didn't sign up for that, did he? <laughs> Big broken nose. Big Marvin Craig Moore throwing their weight about down there. Luna Gomez here comes on for the world legends. He's a player. Quaresma scoops in here. Maluda. The assistant here is given offside, but behind for a goal kick anyway. Broadcast. Oh, oh, Darting through the middle. Really good read. Ferguson. The ball to bring in Alan Hutton. Here he goes. Alan Hutton. He's with a corner. Most of the Live Rocks were hoping he was going to pull the trigger there or slide in Chris Boyd. Couple of minutes left of this first half, two 40 minute halves here today. Goal is so far. Where's the ball going? Ferguson. Alberts. Oh, he's got Chris Boyd wide open by Georgie. And again, the arms outstretched there from the 38-year-old. Yeah, he's Kaka. absolutely desperate for a goal, you know. I think he's starting to blow a bit, though. Yeah. Interesting to see if he makes it back out for the second half or not. Well, if Mikey Moles is getting to see about it, I'm not sure. Rod Wall is sitting on the bench as well. There's a couple of... Beauty rolling back the years, shot of Avalante, and he might claim that as his 58th Rangers goal. What a good header, but what a brilliant ball as well. Ronald De Boer out in that wide right position, he just floated across and had shot a knock on the end of that. It would have been a big fallout with Chris Boyd, I'm sure, but he's fully horizontal that's a brilliant header from Shorter gets the power in it as well talk about the agility of some of these players flew through the air there the Georgian and we get the opener just before half time ah oh, yeah brilliant goal and the world legends are in trouble <laughs> it was a soak up job wasn't it <laughs> I'm not sure about that would have been the plan from Alec McLeish I'm sure staying it for the first 30 yeah, yeah I'm not sure about attempts on goal and how it <laughs> looks for Rangers um, but all that matters now is the 1-0 from the Ibrox side oh, late from Makalele Ferguson riding that one Alberts could be in for another Van Bronckhorst Abidal flying in twice oh, he looks fresh Half time. Wonderful show in this first half from these two sets of players. Plenty of energy exerted, plenty of attempts on goal, mainly from the world legends. But it was Rangers who took the lead just a minute ago. A flying header from Shota Avalante. They lead at the break here at Ibrox. Rangers 1, world legends 0.
It's half time here at Ibrox. Rangers legends leading by a goal to nil against the World Eleven. And what a brilliant occasion it's been so far in the first half. Let's get the words from somebody who's been involved in this first 45 because Gregory Vignal is with Heather Miller. Gregory, how did you feel after that? Tired. <laughs> no, it's a super day, you know, it's a beautiful weather. It's always a pleasure, you know, uh, to play. So, so what a beautiful day, beautiful day today. Is it how you remembered it? The pitch gets bigger and bigger, <laughs> to be honest with you. So, no, great memories. So, with the crowd today, it's, it's fantastic. And yeah, having the fans in this afternoon as well, is that just is how you remember it as well and how loud they can be? Yeah, but that's, that, that shows you the love for the club, you know, and uh, the, the passion for the fans. So, so Glasgow Rangers Football Club is a massive club, so it's always a pleasure to see the fans you know, like today. And it's such a, a special year for the club just now, celebrating the 150th anniversary. Uh, I guess it was a no-brainer to come back, but to be back and be among the fans and former players and teammates, does that just make it even more special for you? Well, it's even something special, you know, uh, part of the squad and uh, part of the team, especially for, for the 150th anniversary, you know, it's, 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 it's always nice. But today, you know, it's all about, you know, enjoying the day, playing, you know, and, uh, and just, just make sure everybody's happy. Thank you so much. Thank you. Gregory and Heather there but as you've just heard we've got a really special halftime entertainment St Phoenix ladies and gentlemen
out here at Ibrox and what a moment it is for these Rangers players to be back out here on the hallowed turf but what a moment it just has been for two huge Rangers fans Al and Stevie Dukes of St Phoenix let's hear what they made of it they're with Heather Stevie Al big Rangers fans yeah. how did it feel to be playing in front of the Ibrox support this afternoon unbelievable unbelievable yeah great experience lifelong Rangers fans didn't get a chance to go play for everybody was a special special day man right. and it was a, a special song as well obviously Blue Sea of Ibrox but happy place a lot of meaning to you guys as well how special was that for you? absolutely I know our dad's went down um, seeing that performance and uh, I hope Ibrox is a happy place for all the Rangers fans yeah. so it's great to play in front of all of them we used to come to our dad's every second week every Saturday season ticket holders and we've got some of the best memories with them so that's a really really special place in our hearts anyway and it's a, a special time for the Rangers club and also the support 150th anniversary to be asked to come play this afternoon how incredible was that for you? very privileged and honoured to be asked um, as soon as we got the invite we jumped at it and um, I brought my boots I thought I was playing uh, but, uh, even backstage you know the players Amazing experience it is. forward and, and then I think it's Ronald De Boer that puts in a fantastic ball and, and what a head that is, what a diving header that is and I'm delighted for me Shota because that's what we were saying just before the, we got the goal that he's still wearing these shorts the way he did as, as a player as well so fantastic for Shota. That's it, tucking the, tucking the shirt into the shorts but it's a fantastic finish. It's a great header. As, as I said, like Ronald De Boer's putting a great ball and then Alan Hutton's took the other defender away and what a header that is. Boyd, he was ready in case he missed it though, wasn't he? I know, but <laughs> Boyd's been chomping at the bit to get a goal and I think he might, he will eventually get a goal because his movement's been great as, as Neil said on the comm, so hopefully Chris Boyd can get a goal and hopefully a wee bit more of an exciting second half. Yeah, well there's definitely substitutions coming because who can I see out there? I can see Pedro Mendes limbering up, uh, Nacho Novo as well, it's his birthday, Nikita Yelovich, such a hero here with the Rangers fans and such a prolific striker for the club as well during his time here. So great to have Nikita back. Like I say, it's Nacho Novo's birthday. What he'd love to mark his birthday with a goal, Nick. Yeah, nothing more than getting Nacho a wee goal. You can tell us, obviously, Nacho Novo just loves the fans. He loves the club. So I would love nothing more than his birthday to get a goal as well. I know, I'm just trying to see there for the rest of the world team who's out there, but I can't see the numbers. Well, Fico is certainly back out, as you can see there. Roy Mackay, first team coach here now with Giovanni Van Bronckhorst posing for some fans. He was out there in the first half. Oh, there he is, Nuno Gomez. I mentioned it before the game, so many times linked with a move here during his younger years. Basingwa as well is back out for the second half. So it's been brilliant. Rui Costa as well, you can see in the background. It's been such a, a great game, hasn't it? And I mean, Ronald Batteris, would you say first half was man of the match so far? Yeah, I would say so. He's, he put the saves that he was pulling off were magnificent. For me as well, the two centre halves. Yeah. Sasa Papac looks like he's not aged a bit. Uh, and Big Marvin putting in tackles like he always did. So for me, the two centre halves were magnificent. And hopefully we get a, a more exciting second half and more goals. To be Absol honest. Absolutely. Well, uh, the players are now coming back out onto the pitch. So let's hand up to the commentary box where Neil McCann is now alongside James Fielding. Okay, thanks Emma. Sides back out. Number changed at half time. Looks like for Rangers. Neil Alexander taking the gloves in goal. Nacho Novo, Hita Jelovic also coming on. Pedro Mendes. On for the world legends. Looks like we're going to have Robert Pires on. Christian Karimba, Ricardo Costa, Nuno Gomez. All being introduced here. Makalele taking a back seat in this second half. Neil McCann's still alongside me, you're itching to get downstairs I think. I am, yes, uh, and if you don't mind I think it's going to take a wee bit longer than it used to, so we'll maybe head back down there now and try and get a wee strip on. If that's okay, if I can leave you on your own. You go for it, we'll be 
kind to you in your absence when I you just, do get on there. I just can't say no. I just can't say no. Too good. So I'm going to leave you to it. It's a pleasure. Neil, Be we'll kind. see you soon. Good Cheers. luck. Get us a goal. It is a beautiful day here in Glasgow. The shadow slowly working its way across the field of play here. Rangers leading through Shota Avaladze's goal. That fantastic flying header towards the end of the first half. Pedro Mendes here exchanging passes with Alan Hutton. Mendes joining from Portsmouth for around 3 million back in 2008. His first goal for Rangers in the old firm. Won the league in 2009. Well, then joining Sporting a year later. He's on for the second half here. Nacho Novo has gone up top alongside Nikita Jelovic. Gets himself a touch there. Because there are a few duplicate numbers out there. They're all wearing their favourite numbers from their playing days. There are three number sevens in the World Legends team. Here's Hutton. Into the arms of David James, who's come on for the second half for them. Alex McLeish has kept his cool in this game so far, it's fair to say. No ranting and raving on the touchline. Shot at Arvaladze, sat alongside him for this second period. Free kick against Alan Hutton. Quaresma has gone off in the second half as well for the world legends. Didn't get his goal, that's why numerous attempts. Here's Robert Pires. He's a talented player. Numerous trophies with Arsenal when he was playing in London, they're now 48 years old. He finished his playing career playing for Goa in India in the Super League out there in 2015. Here's Figo. Got a kick in the first half, but he's okay to continue in the second. Kaka. Pires. I wonder what the combined value of this team would be in their heyday. Distance there by Maluda, comfortably wide. There's a throw in here to the World Legends, Maluda. Sees it off his fellow countryman Eric Abidal to find Pires, Kaka. On one for Figo. Luis Figo, Abidal. Hutton there first, he wasn't going to shirk that challenge. There's a throw in here to the away side Abidal into Maluda Figo Pires Karamba Real Madrid in the late 90s, high here looking for Nacho Novo, Jelovic, done really well, Novo offside. Well one of the stars of the show so far has been Jorg Alberts, we can hear from him now, he's speaking to Heather. George, how are you feeling after that one? Well, I'm really tired to be honest, but obviously it's absolutely brilliant to be back here. Wonderful crowd, wonderful day, such a nice occasion. 
So yeah, I'm quite happy. You mentioned it there, it's a great turnout this afternoon from the Rangers support. Does that just take you back to your playing days? Of course, uh, I think everybody who came here from the playoffs uh, expected that as well because we know what's going to happen here. Yeah, and everybody's taking it in and, and just loving every minute of it. It's a, such a special time for the club just now, 150th anniversary, and you've got a great relationship and history with the club. Being asked to come back this afternoon, does that just make it all more special for you? I think it's special for everyone. You know, it's, it's the most uh, wonderful club in the world for, for all of us here and celebrating the 150th anniversary is just tremendous and being part of it even more. You've got a collection of amazing memories here at Rangers, but if you could pick one one highlight, what would you say has been the, the standout in your career? Well, to be honest, it, it's very difficult for me to single one out because uh, through the five years I've been at Rangers, I had so many nice times. Uh, so uh, I would pick my whole five, five years at the club. Thank you so much. Pleasure. A chance there for Luis Figo as he hit that one through a crowd but getting down to it Neil Alexander hopefully we'll hear from a few more of the legends of yesteryear as this game goes on Neil McCann has gone down to sort of shin pads out might be seeing him before too long he was itching to get down there chatting to him at half time a bit of game time in the second half Marchena forward, Pires, Vigo, Pires. And Bronkhorst with a fair challenge in the eyes of the referee. Mendes. Singwa. In his natural position now, having played at centre half in the first period. Andrews with a booming header clear. And the counter attack on here for Rangers. Ferguson. Chance here now at the other end as they try and find a way through. And Wallace upended. Well, Gaza still waiting in reserve. I can't wait to see what kind of reception he gets when he is introduced. A smile for the crowd as he realises he's on the big screen. the showman in here towards Novo just too much on it there well, the man signed from Dundee back in 2004 part of the side that were runners up in the UEFA Cup down at the Etihad Stadium in that game against Zenit is Pires. A single waiting. It's tucked behind there by Papache. It will be a corner to the world legends who are seeking an equaliser. Some more action on the bench. That's Ray and Michael Moles maybe with us shortly. Pires in. The near post it was Marchena in there. Behind off him last, it's a goal kick to Rangers. It's been a fantastic day so far. Such a wonderful, almost like atmosphere outside there were thousands of people queuing up outside the gates ready to greet the two coaches as they arrived from the hotels earlier just a bit too long there in the end for Papach peeling off there was Nuno Gomez Kaka on the corner to Nuno Gomez Portuguese back for Kaka able to keep his feet because 
far as Rod Wallace. 56 times he found the net for Rangers. It's a free kick here. So 27 goals in this treble winning first season. The winning goal in the cup final against Celtic as well. Nova. Hutton. Here he goes again. Karen Burr had a bit of a nibble from behind there, not sufficiently so for a free kick. Pires. Maluda. So much space here. Florent Maluda. Ah, it's gone in, has it? No. It looks for a second as though Marvin Andrews is going to turn that one into his own net. Just the other side of the post in the end, thankfully. Just let it might nestle inside the far stick there. Maluda had time and space to measure a ball in. Maluda. Moore's header this time. Karen Burke. Kaka. Curl it here, you know he does. Oh, it's off the bar. Wow. That would have been quite something. From the Brazilian maestro Kaka. Figo. Karen Burke. Kaka. Back in there, and it's an equaliser. Throwing himself at that one there, Marchena, and we are back level at 1 1. Two great headers in this game. The equaliser comes 13 minutes into the second half the effort from Kaka initially Rangers couldn't clear the lines Karen but on to Kaka this beautiful ball in was met there by the header of the defender beautifully crafted goal you have to say on his weaker left side there Kaka lifted it into the perfect area Send on Michael Moles in a second. First though is Figo. Away by Moore, Figo, Moore again. Ferguson looking for a way out. Let's that one go, Kaka. On to Nuno Gomez. The world legend's coming on strong. That's a great save there to deny Luis Figo by Neil Alexander. Lovely link play. Figo on his weaker side, went for the near post. Kaka, he's gone for it again, and he nearly hit the bar again. Rangers change. And Rob Wallace is going to come off here. Michael Wallace, what an ovation for him as he comes on here. Signed from Utrecht back in 1999. Barry Ferguson also making way here. Alex Ray is the man to come on. He's got no hair, but we don't care. Two spells with the club as a youth player and then joining from Wolves in 2004. Oh, a chance, Moles 
Didn't really catch it. Oh, Nova, I beg your pardon. Is Pires Kaka? Starting to get into their groove now a bit. The world legends have seen much improved since half time. Maluda and a great ball in there, just too high for Nuno Gomez. Papach finding Pedro Mendes. gone for it but tame that time and Alexander able to collect confirmation of those changes for you well the skipper has made way he's catching his breath and Heather is speaking him to him now Barry Ferguson at pitch side I've not done any training for a couple of weeks because I fought my calf, so just glad to get out and get a good 60 minutes and obviously play with some of my old teammates, which is, is brilliant, and obviously playing against the rest of the world to have got some fantastic players. Coming back to Ibrox this afternoon, great turnout from the Rangers' support. Does it just take you back to your playing days? Yeah, listen, it's, it's a special place. Special place, and um, the atmosphere's electric today, and it just floods, memories are flooding back, obviously. I had many a great years here winning many trophies so to get, get to play in front of them again is great albeit I'm a lot older and a lot stiffer. You've got a collection of amazing memories here at Rangers but what's a, a standout point for you? What's one that you can pick out? There's aren't many if I'm being honest with you. My debut obviously getting named captain here and listen it's just a dream come true what I've, what I've done. I've done hundreds of thousands of people would love to have done. I live the dream. And as I said, it's brilliant to come back here and, and um, as I said, memories come flooding back and playing with your old ga old teammates, some of them I've not seen for 20 years. Um, so I'm sure we'll make up for that tonight. We'll have a few beers and, and um, we'll talk about old days. It's a special time for the club just now, 150th anniversary. To be asked to come back this afternoon and wear the captain's armband again, just how incredible is that for you? Yes. As I said, to play with Rangers was a dream, but to captain them was, was something special. And then to obviously captain this group of players as well, as I said, there's some some fantastic players there. Uh, just um, great to be out there and have the armband back on and hopefully we can get the win, but the boys will look a wee bit tired. Right, thanks, Barry. Right, cheers. Right, I'll go ask. The world legends on the attack here. Vigo. In it goes to Pires. Two have been linking up well since the Frenchman came on, but Alexander behind it again. Figo orchestrating things and Perez arriving, but not catching it cleanly enough to guide it past the goalkeeper. Ray back to Hutton. See it here, the world legends, they're going after a second. Dosingwa. To Figo. Nuno Gomez on sides. Oh, it's a beauty. Nuno Gomez there, turning things around for the world legends. Neil Alexander beautifully lobbed there. The Portuguese makes it 2-1. Delightful. Over the top there, the Rangers goalkeeper, you have to say. Could have thrashed at it. Placement instead. And Neil Alexander beaten all ends up. A touch of class. I think he will make way at this point. Miatovic will come back on. Alex McLeish goes and gives 
Bruno Gomez a hug and the Rangers boss making way here he comes off and from the commentary box to central midfield looks like he's going to go and play on the wing after all Neil McCann will go over and slot on to the left side Rangers trying to come forward here with Jelovic but he's lost it Abidal has it back one of the Rangers greats is now ready to chat to us pitch side Rod Wallace is with Heather Rod how do you feel after that ah, a bit tired uh, 15 minutes was a, a long 15 minutes for, for someone of 52 so yeah um, it, was, it, was, it was great though loved it absolutely loved it having the fans back does it just take you back to your playing days here at Ibrox oh without doubt I mean wherever, wherever we played there was always a great crowd the atmosphere was always great and uh, you, you know you miss that you miss that out of football uh, especially when you retire but coming back today it's been super and to be reunited with some of your former teammates as well that must be quite special for you yeah I mean when we when we're all together it's just like we've never been away you know so we have a good laugh whenever we're together and uh, hopefully we can uh, have a good drink later on thank okay? you all right Welcome back. Rangers struggling to get out of their own half in the moment. The result matters too much today. Game in celebration of Rangers' 150th anniversary. Some of the proceeds going to Luis Figo's foundation as well. We have him to thank for bringing together such an illustrious team to play against Rangers here today. Is that I'm sure have jetted in from right the way across Europe and maybe perhaps further afield as well. Pedro Mendes into Alan Hutter. It's a quick one. James comes for it. It was taken away in front of him there by Marchena. going down Kaka Karamba telling him to leave him out Bosingwa Perez in the middle as well as Miatovic and Alexander there to collect well oh, here's Neil McCann he was saying that he was nursing an injury of sorts but he looks okay here and straight away plays a great ball in there Nacho Novo saying thanks for the ball, he couldn't apply the finish. Meanwhile, then it's Robert Pires. Well, Figo, rather. And Hutton taking it away from him. Mendes. Ray. Craig Moore, the Australian, bringing it away. Two spells here with the Jers. Ray. Hutton. ahead of him Jelovic Mendes McCann the numberless Neil McCann in it comes and oh, two of them are in there both Moles and Jelovic and here's Christian Karamba just too much on it there for Pires Jelovic. Ball was on through the middle. Instead, option to go left there was Michael Moles. We've got 15 minutes to go here in Ibrox. Two 40 minute halves today.
Perez. Figo. Luis Figo. Perez. Two incredible creators on the field there, linking up, but Rangers have it back. McCann to Jelovic. Ray will keep it moving. He's going to go right there to Pedro Mendes, but trying to scoop it over the top instead. And uh, play halted here as Craig Moore is down. Looks like it may just have tweaked something here. As Craig Moore makes his way off here, let's catch up with the Rangers boss, Giovan Broncos. He's speaking to Heather. Alberts is back on. Hopefully Craig Moore's okay. Alberts on for a second spell. 38,071 the attendance here at Ibrox today. A fantastic turnout. Everyone getting their football fix during the international break it's a free kick here to the world legends who lead by two goals to one coming from behind after Schotter Avaladze's opener Marchena's headed equaliser and then Nuno Gomez with a fantastic goal to make it 2-1 Maluda Quaresma, who's rejoined us. Kind of Quaresma. Comfortable for Papach. Back to Alexander. Figo. Kaka. They just can't afford to concede another. Here's Pires. Kaka. Nicely worked. Alexander there to deny Maluda. He's been a busy boy in the second half, Neil Alexander, since replacing Ronald Vatteras at half time. Plenty of movement there from the world legends, but Maluda unable to come up with the finish. Tremendous. Peeling off here is Nacho Novo, but Eric Abidal has given everyone a race today and he's won them all. Quaresma. Off on his own mission. Figo's pulled away far side. Perez will find him. Luis Figo. Mendes to Malt. Andrews. No vote. Happy to help vote. Gets to it. Kaka. Pires alongside him, Kaka, he won't shoot, Quaresma will, Pires, and the offside flag is up. Don't call Makaleli coming on here. 
Saka wonders what might have been just dithered there when deciding whether to release the pass speed of thought perhaps not what it was in his younger days he's only 39 it feels like the game's been without him for quite a while now Ballon d'Or winner in 2007 Christian Karenberg coming off here Paul Makalele he's back with us Final 10 minutes. Can Rangers find something here to get themselves a share of the spoils? Pedro Mendes. Hutton. Get there just. Scott looking to bend this one in, a great ball as well, James away, comes back out here, well wide in the end as it was struck by Nacho Nova. An inductee to the Rangers Hall of Fame, another chance to ride himself into the history books there with the goal in this Legends game. Nice take, just didn't hit across it in the end. Quaresma. Papa standing in front of him. Figo. High for Pires and Hutton tucks it behind. Oh, Eric Abidal coming off here. Fantastic effort from him. On in his place is Theo Baker. Big hit on YouTube, 973,000 subscribers. Well, it does have a footballing past. Once upon a time, a, a youth player with Crystal Palace down in South London. Well, just about everyone has been out there for Rangers so far. The one player we haven't seen yet is one Paul Gascoigne, though. I imagine we'll be seeing him pretty soon given the time on the clock Pires Kaka Figo Luis Figo is he going to have a go? He is Jelovic. Mendes. Oh, he spotted that run. Nacho Nova, though, offside. Did look as though he'd got a touch early. And the assistant referee rides on it. Eric Capital running in his face just to applaud him for that decision. That's a going out to have a go. see him enjoying himself doesn't look as though he's ready to come on just yet mind maybe a fleeting appearance at the end for him Kaka Baker. Quaresma! Oh, that's brilliant! A trademark Trivella from the Portuguese. He's been trying it all game and it's come off for him. Absolutely sensational. And that surely wraps up the win for the world legends. Kaka initially. Koreshma there. Oh, so nonchalant the way he let that ball go. Absolutely sublime.
and everyone around Ibrox happy to applaud that majestic and uh, Luis Figo is going to come off here in a big big ovation for him as he makes way his foundation will receive plenty of money from this fixture as they give funds to those who need it most and Roy Mackay is back on for the final five oh here we go he's getting ready that's what the cheers for <laughs> he's dancing backwards and forwards on the touchline here ready for his introduction the ball goes out pretty soon here's Theo Baker well here we go Paul Gascoigne At the age of 54 a man who was plucked from Lazio as Walter Smith flew out to the Italian capital to persuade him to sign for a club record 4.3 million fast forward well over 20 years and he's back at Ibrox in a Rangers shirt Hopefully he gets a few touches of the ball here. As he goes and mixes it with the best of the game once again. There he is. <laughs> Might be a handball, but advantage played. Referee didn't spot it. McCann. David James there. Well, it was never going to be boring with Paul Gascoigne, was it? Pires, Maluda, guys are rolling down the socks here just to get into the spirit of things. The cap, Quaresma, we've got that third goal. trying to find a way through Pedro Mendes now Berts Jelovic can Rangers just create something here we've got 90 seconds left at Ibrox Novo behind it's uh, Rangers corner here and they're gonna have to put some bodies in there if they want to find themselves an equalizer it's likely to be their final opportunity Gaza making his way forward oh, down the box hang on a second It's going to be a change. Nuno Gomez waiting to come back on. Kaka making way. The Brazilian off here. 67 million pounds he once was brought for. Nuno Gomez back on for the final seconds. It's a Rangers corner. Oh, this ball might find its way to Gascoigne. And he's gone down in the box. McCann in. Pedro Mendes! Well, that would have been a way to equalise. In fact, pull a goal back, I should say, with the World Legends 3 1 up. goal from Quaresma which made it three here's McCann Novo this really is it now we're into added time Nacho Novo Gaza making a run into the middle Paul Gascoigne he's miscued 
he might have another chance though. Gascoigne. Oh, it's in! Paul Gascoigne for Rangers. It just had to be. Back on the turf at Ibrox. And he scored with a P roller. Oh, look at this. Football scenes you love to see. Paul Gascoigne there, pulling a goal back for Rangers in added time. The <laughs> Paul Gascoigne has won man of the match. Well, he's only been on five minutes, and what a performance it's been. The defence couldn't get organised quickly enough, and Gascoigne quickly onto it to knock in the rebound. That is time. A victory for the world legends, but a victory for football. A fantastic game to help celebrate Rangers' 150th anniversary. Five goals, and some of them truly magical, though not as good as that one at the end there from Gaza. A moment to remember for him and over 38,000 who are here to witness it as well. A magical afternoon here in the March sunshine. Five goals, Arvaladze's opener. Marchena getting one back for the world legends. Nuno Gomez with a fantastic goal to put them ahead. Quaresma with the Trivella for their third. But Paul Gascoigne with that goal in added time. Bringing a real feel-good factor to everyone around Ibrox here. What a game, what an afternoon. It finishes at Ibrox, Rangers 2, World Legends 3. apart from Gaza getting on the score sheet at Ibrox what a legend I'm absolutely delighted for him I know I think it was the highlight of everyone's afternoon even well slightly fortuitous and definitely the, the World Eleven played their part in the build up to the game but it was brilliant to see him back out there wasn't it yeah it was absolutely magnificent I mean I think fair play to David James giving him the opportunity to put it in the back of the net because what a player he was for Rangers and, the, and you could tell the atmosphere as soon as he scored it went um, absolutely magnificent. He's not lost his impact either because he was on the pitch for about six minutes and got man of the match <laughs> so that's how it went but overall as a spectacle for you personally was it great to see some of those ex-Rangers players out there again? Yeah some of my heroes came on as well especially Michael Moles coming on and as I said like Sasa Papac as well like playing back in his left back position so I was absolutely delighted and it's just been a real honour to be here and obviously it's been a great occasion for the club and celebrating 150th anniversary and what a way to top it off. And Neil McCann started the day up here with us on the platform and he ended it on the pitch. We thought injury might rule him out but he got 15 minutes at the end and he's not lost it has he? I tell you <laughs> what, he's still got his left foot, he put in two dangerous left foot crosses um, and that turnover almost got an end of him as well so now nah, he came on and he made a good impact so I'm sure you'll not hear the end of it either to be honest. I was about to say that we're not going to hear the end of this, he suits him as well the new the new kit doesn't it but as far as the fans are concerned and I know we heard from a few of the, the ex-players with Heather as an occasion to be invited back here for the 150th anniversary it's a, it's a very special thing isn't it? It is because Rangers is a massive club so to be invited back here as an ex-player and for them to put on the Rangers jersey again is, is unbelievable and it's a, and 
what a great club to play for and being invited back it's, it's probably been absolutely magnificent and go back on the pitch and also the manager Giovanni Van Bronckhurst again left sided player a position you know very very well he equipped himself well didn't he I was going to say that <laughs> he, he still got it as well I, I'm pretty sure he must have been training with the ones that won the international this week um, to get himself topped up but no Gio looked great and, and it was fantastic to see him back in the pitch well let's have a look at the goals then and how they unfolded because we saw some wonderful football out there just before half time it was really Rangers who went 1-0 ahead thanks to shot at Arvaladze and, and it was a, a fantastic link up between uh, Alan Hutton and Ronald De Boer. As I said, Alan Hutton doing what he does best, just feeding the winger and then doing that inside of the run pitch and then <laughs> that, is that is unbelievable. Chris Boyd's probably raging there because he's walking on the end of that as well because he was trying to fully the first half but no, a great finish from Shota. Uh, they say that strikers, uh, they instinctively know, don't they? Boydie was diving in there hoping that Shota was going to miss it. Yeah, Boydie was definitely raging that he never got on the end of that because <laughs> usually as a striker you're wanting to get on the end of things and, but what a great header from him and I'm absolutely delighted from him because what a player he was. Yeah, what a great celebration as well. I think James said it in commentary, I don't know, it's 56 or 58 goals that would have been there for Rangers. So that was 1-0 at half time. It was then 1-1 quite quickly afterwards and again a wonderful header from the world team but what about this from Kaka? I know, as I said before the game, what a what a player he was, Ballon d'Or winner, Champions League, FIFA World Cup. He's got a great, I actually think that's not even his strongest foot mm -hmm. um, for Kaka, he's, he's usually a right footed player but what a, what a pick out that is and great header at the back post. Yeah, brilliant as well and just moments before that Kaka had hit the post as well so Marchena with the goal there, lovely from Carambo as well, looks like he's going to put it one way and just digs it over to Kaka. What a ball that is. Yep, great header. And again, Neil Alexander, there's no stopping that, is no, there? No, there's definitely not. So that was 1-1. One, one. Uh, we allowed the visitors back into it. And then Nuno Gomez. I touched on it before. He had such a glistering career. And what about this for a finish? For me, it's a pass there. The inside of the foot from the edge of the box. Managing to find that from Figo. I think it's Figo at the edge of the box there. It finds it outside the foot. And what a finish. Touch and hit. And what a great player it was, as you touched on at the start of the the day as well. Could be so easy to just thrash at that though, couldn't he? But he just yeah, he actually just yeah. he actually just places it. He can see that Neil's kind of off his line. So he, he takes the opportunity to chip the goalie. And Neil will probably be disappointed with that himself to be honest. Yeah well if we thought that that one was a good finish. That was Nuno Gomez making it 2-1 to the World Eleven. How about this from Koresma? He tried it a couple of times earlier. I did say as well at the top of the show he's still playing football competitively. So he's still fresh, but again, what about this one? As I said, I think this is his trademark. Can he, can he finish is the outside of the foot? And only so many players can pull that off, to be honest. And, and what an absolute finish that is. And, and Kaka getting yeah. on the end of things again, he's got himself an assist there. Another one, so what a finish that is. Neil Alexander's got absolutely no chance. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. Big Marv just slips, but Kaka turns him, to be fair. <laughs> and then uh, Charisma who, you know, he looked sharp throughout the game, didn't he? Just for him to get on the score sheet. You could see how much it meant to him. He'd been trying it and it finally came off. Yeah, he was trying the whole game, to be fair. He was looking lively the whole of the first half yeah. as well and, and to manage to finish the game with that kind of finish just topped off his game, to be honest. And we mentioned at full time Paul Gascoigne coming off the bench. He wasn't on the pitch for long, but what he did do was make an impact. He had the whole stadium on their feet. And what about this um, <laughs> for a finish? I was actually looking at Nacho, I was like, Nacho, please find Gaza, please, please find him. And he's, of course he's obviously found him and he's, and he's kind of missed kicked it a wee bit. But look, Gaza, what a player he was in his prime and see to get him scored, like, a goal at Ibrox is unbelievable. Almost got a take my eye. I know. Absolutely delighted for him. Really I, to am. I totally agree. I think that there was many people like that in the stadium. And the celebration as well was was better than the goal actually because there was a big a big celebration with players from both teams as they uh, as they enjoyed that one but Paul Gascon my goodness it's just amazing to have him here isn't it it's, I, honestly I couldn't believe it when I seen him on the team sheet because everything that was, he's been through as well as a, as a person and they see him back here at Ibrox is unbelievable and to score honestly I, I, I genuinely was like felt like I didn't even want to speak about anything else there in the second half everybody's probably going to go home speaking about Gaza scoring at Ibrox now absolutely delighted for him yeah absolutely and uh, Neil McCann is supposed to be doing some interviews pitch side for us but I don't believe that we've got anything just yet so we'll uh, 
we'll come back to you with any of that. Um, but Alex McLeish, you know, we're back in the dugout as well. We saw Alex Ray, didn't we, directing from the sidelines. Just almost naturally fell back into the manager, assistant manager relationship that they had at Genk a couple of years ago. Yeah, it was, yeah, yeah, it was a little bit a while ago now. But you could also see them both even doing the same ha ha Alex hand actions, like pointing in the same direction. <laughs> it was almost like... Wow, so it was great to have them both here and, and what, a, what a day for mm -hmm. uh, Rangers fans to come here and see that today. Yeah, what a day indeed. Well, Nick, thank you very much for your company. It's been Thanks a pleasure. As always, all the best for the rest of the season thank because you. we can't let you go with just asking a final question on that. So far, so good, but an important few matches on the horizon, isn't there? Yeah, uh, of, of course at Rangers we always speak about the one day, one game at a time kind of thing and that's how we're always going to treat it but no, look, we're, we've put ourselves in a very strong position and hopefully we can go and do the business but like as I said, it's one game at a time and the next game's tomorrow against Hearts so hopefully a three points there Yeah, and you went up to Pataudry as well that must have been a nice occasion to play up there and obviously take the three points as well Yeah, of course the three points was what we wanted to get there but for me, women's football in general is, is getting a game at mm -hmm. the men's stadium is absolutely fantastic and showing girls what they can achieve when they grow up so for me that was the bigger picture of it but most importantly we got the three points as well go well tomorrow thank you very thank much you. once again and thank you for your company as well it has been some day here at Ibrox as part of the club's 150th anniversary celebrations and we've seen Gaza scoring at Ibrox again what else do you need in a Saturday afternoon thanks for watching goodbye